We're here at the World Beat Center Garden, Organic Love Garden, to feed the world. And Pia beautiful collards. just picked a beautiful collard, making it even more beautiful with her divine hands. <laughs> and seriously, this is how Look it's these monsters. this is how it's done, though. That's the thing. This is where the collard greens come from, kids. Just like that. From Mother Earth. What else do we want in our salad? I don't know. Let's see what we have in the garden. This is just a flat-out garden. This is the World Beat Center. This is what the world. This is one of the things that the World Beat Center wow. is doing to enlighten and, and uplift the world. Wouldn't you say? One of the thousand million. Exactly. They come out here and eat biogenic foods because it's fresh picked. So you can just eat this just like this. So tasty. Wow. Super chlorophyll rich. What else should we add? That looks strong. It's pretty hearty. Yeah. I mean, did you hear me trying to rip that off? Yeah. I have to use a lot of muscle. Well, which you have, like Huge a surplus of. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Pia, lead the way, as always. Kale. Two different kinds of kale. Your favorite. Jason, what's this? And you know, like, I was just picturing like you falling into the garden and just like living with the kale. <laughs> <clears throat> just like becoming one of them. Just like, you know, the kids like are raised by wolves. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised by kale. Yeah, and your like name like is kale, kale now. Yeah, exactly. What, is, what would my name be? Just like kale. Kaylin? Or Kalia. Actually, I like Kalia too. It's pretty. Huh. You yeah. K A L I A. Yeah, it's pretty. It's beautiful. And what's that? Kale. It's kale. Let's eat it just like that. Exactly. But I'm going to wash it first. It's still organic. And oh, can you make kale in a factory? Mm, not this kind of kale. No. Mm -mm. I mean, is it God's factory? Yeah. Right, this right. is God's factory. True, but true. It's different. It depends on what factory you're talking about. Okay, okay. This is how it grows. It's how simple. Okay. And these are just abundant. These grow. So what are we in the whole scheme of things as far as like God's factory? What do you mean? I don't know. Just like. Like we're in. Like what are we in relation to like God's like factory? Like are we like workers? Are we? We're like... trying to live as He created it. Mm-hmm. Like this is what he, He's giving us. Right. This beautiful, amazing fruits and vegetables that just grow. We don't have to create it, we just, it's already- Just like water the seed, water the and earth. love it. Love. Love makes things grow too, right? Love makes everything grow. Love is the essence. Love, love is, is the Love is like what it's all about. Okay, now what are we picking? This is more kale, your favorite kind of kale. Dang, look at that. And is the vision that like everyone has this in their, in their yard? If that's or what they that, choose. Yeah, that, right, thank or you. Or they can, you know, work with their neighbor. You know, and support them in that way. Right. And the vision is that everybody supports everybody. That, doing okay. whatever they do best from a place of love. Hmm. Would you agree? Yes. <laughs> what else? Let's I'm just in way. a trance of your of your divinity. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's get some of these. They're busting out. What are these? Like, use me more kill. And that's it's more like kill. Some caterpillars are enjoying them as well. Really? Oh yeah. Caterpillar plant. And we even have moringa over here. Moringa is on the Is that trees. it? Trees, yeah, that's moringa. Maybe you can oh, talk yeah. about moringa for a minute. Well from what I hear, moringa alifera seeds purify water when they're when they're put in them. Isn't that interesting? With our water issues these days. Oh, yeah. Alkaline you know, is alkaline water the best or whatever. These are more collards. More, more collards. Collards make amazing food and like wraps for tacos and burritos. How many and are you making salads for? I would say probably five. Okay. Just get a little variety. I so what if, what if what if at this point people don't have a garden like this in their yard where they can just go pick stuff? What's can they what? Do? Yeah, exactly. The, well, there's options. You can support and frequent your local farmer's market to support the farmers who are doing this. You can learn to grow your own, research, find out about what would be the best, what you want to do, if that's what interests you. I'd say those are my two top options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always organic, of course, mm -hmm. but farmer's market. And what happens if you don't live near a farmer's market? Yeah. Well, 
trying to get as much organic greens, fruits and vegetables from your local store. And what if that's not an option? And it's not an option to move somewhere like that. Then you can start by adding in superfoods. Because these are super high potent. Yeah, it's not like fresh picked like these are. These are pretty crazy strong, you're right. Look at those. Um, blue green algae, all the seaweeds, um, green powders, barley grass, wheat grass. You can grow all those easily in your home too. Mm, right, right. Pretty easily. Sprouts are another amazing thing. You don't even need to go outside your home to right. grow your own food in your, you know, on your Sprouting. on your property. Right. Do you have any suggestions that I missed? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I would recommend. I'm getting a little variety here. I know I'm only going for... Collard and kale. Collard and kale. That's what I'm feeling. Are you feeling anything else? Can we, can we showcase anything else that's going on here? I mean, it seems like that, you know, there is an abundance of kale and collard. Mm -hmm. Um... I mean, there's like, sh there's like shards over there. Right mm, there, there is. All this amazing makeda greenness. So how about this? Yes. When when eating stuff like this, you know, raw salads and stuff like that, is that, you know, what if someone says, well, do I just eat this? You know, like, what are you saying, Pia? Like, just what are you saying? Go in and eat it. Or no, like, like, do I eat this all the time, every day? Like, am, am I missing something if I just eat kale and collards? Like, what's a practical daily regimen here? Like, what are you saying that I should do? alkalizing greens into your diet as possible. They are loaded with protein, you know, the proteins, all the enzymes and minerals are complete, perfect as they are. Hydrating because of the water content. And yeah, this could get a little old after a while. You can make different salad dressings, you can make these into wraps, which I'll kind of demonstrate. You would put whatever pate you make, you can make it just like a big fatty taco, just like that, whatever pate, like a taco meat or, you know, taco meat from walnuts or zucchini or something, which we can supply that recipe at a later date. Or you can make it, you know, it'll bend when it's been kind of soaked a little bit and then fold it mm. to a nice little burrito. Dang. Yeah, it's pretty amazing what you can do. You can massage it with some really good, like, hemp oil, avocado, or avocado oil, Hemp is really good though. We do have oil. And it has all the omegas. And they get really soft and almost have that cooked marinated texture. So you're you're not feeling deprived in any way. And actually you feel better because it's non-toxic and amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you have another suggestion? Another suggestion? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, any more is it good. Do we need more than that? That's good. I'm gonna throw some avocado in. Yeah. We just got some really good lemon. Oh cookies. my god, we just got spices. All the spices we got. Consciouscookery.com. Amazing. Has the cheapest organic, amazing spices ever. Multiple types okay. of curry and cinnamon and chili powder. At consciouscookery.com, which is where we get our spices, and we're very proud of what Conscious Cookery is doing. They're amazing. And they're delicious. Oh god. Super fresh. Lemon curry. Oh, the best curry. That's One of the organic. Best curry. Why is organic important, Jason? Well, there's no chemicals, you know? It's it's all it, it's all really common sense. But there's no chemicals that we should be eating. We should be eating fresh, pure, clean food grown organically with love. Yes. To help us purify our vessel and vehicle. To do what? So the more so, so more light can come in and more light can go out. And we're not bogged down by foggy consciousness where we have a clean vessel and vehicle of our body so we can live and our highest life. potential as spiritual beings. Pia? And appreciate and love more and be who we are. 